We're honored to have you. We've talked to one, two, three, four, five, six millionaires this hour. 2.4, 1.8, 1.5, 1.4, 2.5, 2.5, and 2.9. None of them were crooks. None of them were entertainers or athletes. None of them inherited enough money that it affected their their net worth. It was all tiny amounts if they got any at all. Um, none of them had 4.2s. Uh, one, one had a 4.0. He was a college professor. Um, and so all this stuff you hear about millionaires is just not true. Those were all regular people. A lot of engineers, granted. A pharmacist in the mix there, a lot of teachers, um, and uh, even the college professor was teaching at a PhD and teaching engineering. So, I mean, it was just like the engineer day, but um, interesting. Uh, these are people with, uh, they, they got four-year degrees, and they applied, you know, that were applicable in the marketplace. They got up, left the cave, killed something, and drug it home. They're not, they're, they all said spend less than you make. They all said live on a budget. They all said debt did not caught. They didn't they go to some get rich quick scheme on the weekend and go, you know, $10 million in real estate debt and nothing down. And that, that's not how they got rich. All of them built their wealth slow and steady. All of them built their wealth slow and steady. They did the stuff we talk about here every single day. Every one of them I talked to. They were identical today. There wasn't an, even an outlier. Sometimes we get an outlier, somebody that inherited it, or sometimes we get an outlier, someone who um, borrowed a bunch of money to create wealth and opened a business or something like that. But but today it was all slow and steady, every one of them, all six of them. See, you have to cut through the mythology that your broke friends with a political ideology are yakking about over Thanksgiving or your broke family members. Because what I'm trying to point out is they don't know what the flip they're talking about. These are real millionaires. I've met with these people for 25, 30 years now. And every time I meet with them, this is who they are. And when they walk in the lobby of our building, you can't tell who they are. They don't look any different. They, they don't, they're not flashy. They're not wearing, you know, big watches or big rings or, you know, Mr. T starter kit around their neck or anything like that. They don't look like something that you see on a movie. You, you know, that's not the, you know, it's not who they are. They enjoy their life. They've lived like no one else, and now they're able to live and give like no one else. But this idea that somehow you've done something wrong if you've built wealth has got to stop in this country. We've taught people to not be successful, so we have a whole bunch of people out there being not successful because they learned the lesson well. And we're going to reverse the trend here on the Dave Ramsey Show. We're going to show you what it looks like to win. And that winning is, well, it's a noble thing. That puts us out of the Dave Ramsey Show in the books. We'll be back with you before you know it. In the meantime, remember, there's ultimately only one way to financial peace, and that's to walk daily with the Prince of Peace, Christ Jesus. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. Thank you.